Hey guys, Nate here, and today we're gonna to talk about VoIP security and the best ways to secure your own network. Let's get right to it. Whether you're a grandmother of four or a college student, the digital world can be a scary and vulnerable place. However, there's really no reason to be anxious about security threats if you just follow a few best practices. A common misconception is that security is handled by the service provider and the provider alone. In reality, most cloud services use a shared security model, meaning customers are jointly responsible for the implementation of these protocols. Of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be picky with vendors. Any VoIP service provider should, at the very least, offer end-to-end -end encryption. Bear in mind that there are different levels of encryption. Make sure you're using a VoIP network that not only encrypts signaling, but also media. What use is signal encryption if the files you're sharing are being intercepted by man-in-the-middle attacks? Platforms that offer a sufficient level of security in their VoIP plans may cost a bit more, but you'll rest easy knowing that no eavesdropping will occur during sensitive calls. Beyond encryption, there's also work to be done on the LAN, or local area network, front. Set up a dedicated voice LAN. Having phones on the same network as your printers and workstations can leave your data vulnerable. So keeping them separate is definitely the way to go. Virtual LANs have made it easier than ever to segment traffic into different networks, so there's really no excuse to have everything commingling at the cost of security. Another mistake that companies often make is leaving their VoIP phones outside the firewall. Like any computing device, keeping it behind the corporate firewall is an absolute must. This can make it a lot harder for hackers to brute force their way into your network. Speaking of proper device management, it's of utmost importance that you change the default passwords on your VoIP phones. It might seem like a chore to go from phone to phone updating these credentials, but it'll be a lot more troublesome to deal with a DDoS attack. After all, trying the default password is often the first thing that a hacker does when trying to infiltrate your network. Finally, one of the best ways to proactively monitor your network is to keep an eye on the usage you're billed for. A spike in your phone bill may indicate that hackers are using your network to make calls. So don't immediately assume it's just a glitch or billing error. That's all for now, but don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below if you enjoyed this video so you can stay up to date on our journey to simplify the VoIP world. And share this video on social media too so your friends can implement these VoIP security best practices at their own workplaces. Till next time, this is Nate from Get VoIP.